Let's split up and search for the unicorn, Harry. The best way to find wounded unicorns is to follow a trail of silver blood. It should show up well in this moonlight. Follow the silver blood to find the unicorn. Be careful. The forest can be a dangerous place. I better go, Harry. That spoiled brat Draco is waiting with Fang. If I'm not back soon, Fang might just have him for his dinner. Incendio! Let's split up and search for the unicorn, Harry. The best way to find wounded unicorns is to follow a trail of silver blood. It should show up well in this moonlight. Follow the silver blood to find the unicorn. Be careful. The forest can be a dangerous place. I better go, Harry. That spoiled brat Draco is waiting with Fang. If I'm not back soon, Fang might just have him for his dinner. Incendio! <laughs>
Ah, Potter, that oaf Hagrid sent me to tell you that we haven't found the unicorn yet. I doubt Hagrid could find the boots on his feet without a map. Don't get lost, Potter. Remember, these woods can be very dangerous. Incendio! <laughs> I see you found the unicorn's blood trail, Harry. I don't understand what would be killing the unicorns. Never heard anything like it before. There's summit in these woods that shouldn't be. Be careful now and stay with the path. Call me if you find anything. Rowena Ravenclaw. Harry was rescued in the nick of time by the centaur Firenze and rode on his back to safety. Firenze explained that unicorn blood had the power to keep someone alive who was an inch from death. Harry realized that the hooded figure he'd seen in the clearing was none other than he who must not be named, Lord Voldemort. That was a close shave, Harry. Any creature that would kill a unicorn and drink its blood is one to be avoided at all costs. If it was Lord Volden, I mean, he who must not be named, then you better be on your guard. He's a dangerous foe. Oh, you've got a present for you, Harry. I made it myself. Mm -hmm. 
some creatures find music very relaxing. If you play the right tune, you can send them to sleep. In fact, I remember this very tune that I used to play to my Fluffy. Try it out on this barn owl I've been looking after. He needs a good long sleep. like a light. I wish Fluffy was as easy to send to sleep. But you'd best be getting back to your lessons now. Thanks again, Harry. You're a real friend. I've been doing some reading about Nicholas Flamel, the wizard that Hagrid mentioned. He's the creator of the Sorcerer's Stone. Supposedly it can grant eternal life to its user. If it's here, there may be snakes after it. There are even rumours that you know who's involved. We have to find a way to get past Fluffy. That must be where the stone is being kept. Ron and I will meet you on the third floor by the doorway that leads to Fluffy. We have to get the stone first. Come on, Ron, let's go. I suppose. Puff skeins. Friendly fellas but they have a large appetite. Hagrid. Nice one, Harry. You've got the beans we needed. The portrait password is Wolf Spain. Thanks for the beans, Harry. We'll make sure they find a good home. Have you heard the rumour? There's a troll on the loose around here. Smells worse than Percy's socks. And that's saying something. Spain. By Jupiter, you've done it, young Gryffindor! I think someone's making a move to steal the Sorcerer's Stone. Harry, I know you are brave, but promise me you'll be very careful. 
Meanwhile, the House Point hourglasses are slowly filling up. Ravenclaw. Hufflepuff. Slytherin. Gryffindor. Slytherin are in the lead on house points. The race for the house cup is heating up. Only Hagrid would call this monster Fluffy. Of course! Harry, do you remember that Hagrid said that he used to calm Fluffy with music? Try and play the tune that Hagrid mentioned to put each of Fluffy's heads to sleep. Be careful though, he looks ferocious. Oh, I'm so glad we know what it's called. That's a great help. Try and figure out the sequence of tentacles and then use the incendio spell to defeat it. Try not to get too close to those tentacles. Flipendo! 
Quidditch skills to practice. Good luck, Harry. puzzle is a gigantic chessboard. Ron's gone through to play. I hope he's all right. I've defeated most of the pieces, Harry, but I don't think I can go on. It's up to you now. Oh, Ron, are you all right? Harry, you have to be careful and avoid the pieces. They all move one square at a time. You'll have to make the pieces fight each other in order to get across safely.
It's waking up! Hang on, it's still groggy. I'm going to find the right spell to open the next door. It better not wake up or we'll be in big trouble. Charm all of these objects out of its way. That was a close one. Let's see what's next. Looks like you'll have to choose the cup that contains the knight and the shield. Did you see the symbol on the shield? It looks like an ice potion. That must be what we need to get through the fire. There's only one potion. You'll have to go on alone, I'm afraid. I'm going to find some help for Ron. Please be careful, Harry. I wondered whether I'd be meeting you here, Potter. You're far too inquisitive to remain among the living.
damn you, Potter! But, Master, it wasn't my fault. Potter, give me the stone. I know you have it. Let me speak to him face to face. But Master, you are not strong enough. I have strength enough for this. Hand over the stone.
Potter. Very well. I promise you'll die begging for mercy as your parents did. <clears throat> Dumbledore smiled. What happened down in the dungeons between yourself and Professor Quirrell is a complete secret, he said. So naturally, the whole school knows. The stone had been destroyed, but Harry remained fearful that its loss would not prevent Lord Voldemort's return. Dumbledore nodded, sharing his concern. Nevertheless, Harry, if our battles do no more than slow Voldemort's return, with luck he may never regain his power at all. Harry made his way down to the end of the year feast alone that night. The great hall was decked out in green and silver to celebrate Slytherin winning the house cup. When Harry entered, there was a sudden hush. He took a seat between Ron and Hermione, trying to ignore the stares of the other students. The house cup, announced Dumbledore, is awarded to the team with the most house points. At the moment, that would seem to be Slytherin. A storm of cheering and stamping broke out from the Slytherin table. However, continued Dumbledore, in recognition of Mr. Harry Potter's pure nerve and outstanding courage, I award Gryffindor 60 points. Harry's table erupted with cheers and applause. The additional points had won the House Cup for Gryffindor. It was the best evening of Harry's life. Better than winning at Quidditch or Christmas or knocking out mountain trolls. He would never, ever forget tonight. Ravenclaw. Hufflepuff. Slytherin. Gryffindor. Gryffindor are in the lead on house points. <laughs> 